Now for today's Unchained topic, let's talk about fucking Ubisoft and open world fatigue. Mainly it comes with the Ubisoft games. There are some other open world games that I feel like they will never get old, like the Grand Theft Auto series. Uh, and I think it's the way that they approach open worlds, right? These pseudo open worlds like Rise of the Tomb Raider, I like the way that they handle those sections and how, you know, there's big huge set pieces that complement the world. Horizon Zero Dawn is the new game that I'm playing and it overcomes open world fatigue by the alluring story that pulls you along with the fascinating upgrades. RPGs you usually tend to get away with this a lot better. Characters that that drive that and mystery that drives the story forward is is an important factor it's not the only factor there is the fun factor that needs to be had is it a fun or does it feel more like a chore uh, for example i think collectathons are stupid i hate collectathons unless i can use what i'm collecting to make something i, I just I, I hate having to collect the coins to say just for the sake of saying you collected 100 coins uh, or in Ghost Recon, th this new iteration, there's the collect-a-thon with the skill points and the weapon upgrades. That's stuff that you need, right? But then they throw in the collect-a-thons of like intel pieces. Like, why can't you just tell me this? Why do you have to put intel pieces through? Like, and it's just documentation, extra tidbit story stuff that you can read that's not really if it was really important they would have told you via a cinematic or through dialogue of some sort and you know there's a of course gameplay gets repetitive but if there's I, I like side missions to have a story if the side mission is telling its own story then I'm intrigued by it even if the gameplay is completely what I've been doing to the main mission or you know through any other mission of course there is always going to be a repetitiveness to gaming i understand that but when all of the side missions are exactly the same <laughs> ubisoft is the biggest the biggest company to be guilty of this right all of the side missions you, you there's four types of side missions and we're going to use these four here in this in this section of the map. These four here in this section of the map. Assassin's Creed Syndicate was guilty of this. This is one of my problems with Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And I just got to where I was like, you know what? I need to do this so much to, to get the upgrades I need. But then once I had the upgrades that I wanted, full blown, just, just nothing but story. I don't want a 100. Nobody wants to 100% an Ubisoft game. Nobody wants to platinum trophy or get 100% achievements in an Ubisoft game. And, and that's because all of the monotonous bullshit you gotta go through. And then that makes me wonder, even though that their open worlds are very beautiful vistas, you know, Bolivia is very beautiful and it's well constructed. The, the London and Assassin's Creed Syndicate was wonderful to look at. It was a marvel, right? Even the, the, the Paris, France that we got in the uh, Assassin's Creed Unity was beautiful, even though it had a lot of bugs and stuff. But it makes me wonder, do these games even need to be, with the story that they're telling, do, does it really need to be in an open world? Is it in the open world just for the sake of it being in an open world? Or can we not tell a linear story? Is it because linear stories aren't popular anymore? Well, let me tell you, this open world bullshit is mono it's monotonous, okay? <laughs> and I don't think that every single game needs to be open world. The Last of Us is a good... Uh, uh, the Last of Us, Uncharted, uh, these are linear games that tell interesting stories, the, the same quality of stories that Ubisoft wants to tell, but they tell it very, uh, very linearly. Even the new Resident Evil 7 that everybody's going crazy about, it's a linear experience. Uh, uh, the Alien Isolation, a beautiful, wonderful game, a linear experience. I loved Metal Gear Solid 5, but I got to say that I like the linear storytelling, the linear Metal Gear Solids a lot better than I like Metal Gear Solid 5. And I think a lot of that too was because I ended up doing all the, there was only that four or five missions that were always exactly the same. They were fun, sure, for a little while, and then you had to do them again the second half of the game. You know, everybody knows what I'm talking about at this point. And you're like, 
Why? <laughs> Why do I have to do it again? I did all this bullshit once. Why do I have to do it again? And a good example of what I'm talking about is the the stealing the helicopter <laughs> in mission, the side mission, steal a helicopter, the the me the medical helicopter or the cargo helicopter to help the rebels resupply themselves in the the Ghost Recon Wildlands, right? That mission is used the exact same way. So, so you go in, you clear out the camp, you take the helicopter, you bring it to the runway. The next section, you get the same mission the exact same way. Sure, it's in a different location, but it's the same enemies, and you have to bring it to a different location runway. It's pretty much the same mission. The variety there is just broken, uh, especially when you only have four of these to fall back on. Why can't you have like, I don't know, 15, 20 different one of these, you know, if you want to really add variety, you know what I mean? And this isn't a review for Ghost Recon Wildlands. Don't think that I hate the game because it's quite opposite. I love the game. Uh, matter of fact, my review on it should be coming up, uh, not this episode, but in the next episode that we do, we'll be talking a lot more about Ghost Recon Wildlands. I just wanted to talk about open world fatigue. Is it really necessary to take a game that with these beautiful vistas are, and, and make them open world for the sake of making them open world so that you can boast how much content even though it's repetitive content that your game has or would those games be better spent as a linear uh, a very linear storytelling because I like the past Ghost Recons I liked Future Soldier I liked Advanced War, Warfighter and they weren't open world and they were fine not being open world. Before we got Assassin's Creed, the you know, Prince of Persia was a great game uh, that had a lot of Assassin's Creed stuff in it, and it wasn't open world. It was, well, okay, so the 2009 game was kind of pseudo open world or whatever, but the Sands of Time games were not open world. Those were linear storytelling, and I'm I'm. I'm I feel like that's been lost because a lot of people that used to be a knock against games well this game's too linear I can't approach it in all these different ways and that used to be a knock against games it really did because you know we were fatigued of linear games when when we had like the Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City and San Andreas that opened open uh, experiences and then you had Morrowind and you had Oblivion and you had Skyrim that, that had these open-ended way of doing stuff and I think that Ubisoft has seen the success of all that stuff and said, you know what, we can do it too. And for a while, that's pretty good. We, we liked it for the first few games and it was fine. But now we're to the point where like, is it really necessary? I kind of miss classic gameplay, you know, the, the classic structure of the way games are made. And I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's just me. But you can always let me know by leaving a comment below.